Tommy Davidson from In Living Color right here at Rebel Headquarters when we return. Of course, the anniversary of September 11th is tomorrow, and we're going to bring on Tommy Davidson in a minute to talk about that and the uh, cause that he is helping out. Uh, if you remember Tommy Davidson, of course, he was a star of Strictly Business, Booty Call, Spike Lee's Bamboozled, and starred in, in Living Color with Jamie Foxx, Jim Carrey, Damon Wayans. What a cast that was. He used to do, of course, impersonations of Michael Jackson, Sammy Davis Jr., and Sugar Ray Leonard. I'm standing here with the legendary Sugar Ray Leonard. Ray, how does the show look to you so far? Well, Larry, <laughs> I'd score the show pretty even. So far, the audience has been able to take everything that the cash has dished out. If we look at the tail of the videotape, we'll see that the audience outnumbers the cast 30 to 1. Tommy, uh, of course, has been helping veterans, actually, and I, I say, of course, except I didn't know this until recently, for 20 years. He's also been in Afghanistan, oh, yeah. and uh, tomorrow there's Heroes Helping Heroes here in L.A. Yeah. That's part of Cops for Causes. Mm -hmm. You're kind of almost their unofficial spokesperson, in a sense, I guess, for yeah. Cops for Causes. Yeah, it's something that just happened. I mean, you know, I, I became friends with some of the peace officers in town, and I had the connection with the veterans anyway, mm -hmm. from just going around the world and performing at the bases, so... It just made sense. What, what, what got you into that? Why that than rather than anything else? Um, I'm, I'm, into, I'm off into a lot of things. I do a lot, a lot of fundraising for a lot of different causes. But this, to me, is really important because I feel like our servicemen and women around the world, like, they're just working people, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, these recruiters come to their offices and they go, we got a job for you. And then they end up, <laughs> you know, they end up halfway around the world and sometimes they even engage in a war, you know, so it's... Right. It's their people, too. You know? No question. And people, of course, everybody knows this, but I like, like to say it again anyway. Like, I, of course, I thought the Iraq war was a disaster, but they didn't start the war. Right. <laughs> right? right. And they got sent right. into the middle of that mess. Yeah. yeah. So now uh, I, I'm just curious about your politics on it, because a lot of people have differing issues on veterans. Right. right, right. So the Democrats a lot of times stand up for more veterans benefits, uh -huh. but a lot of veterans support Republicans because right, I don't right. know why. I don't mean more pro-war, right. I don't know why. But we're, you know, what's your take on that? As long as I stay with my take and uh -huh. I don't go Democrat or, or, or Republican either way and go veteran. Uh -huh. And just traditionally, just, just us as a, as a country, you know, we haven't taken care of our veterans and you can name any war that you want. It's just an ongoing battle. It's something that we have to take responsibility for. War's gonna happen, right. you know that's gonna happen. But peace still exists, and I think, I think providence exists. So we still yeah. need to look out for our peeps, man. Yeah, well, if we're willing to start the war, then we should take care of our guys when they come right. back, obviously, right? So uh, I understand when you go to uh, perform, you sometimes do an Obama impersonation. Is that right? It's pretty easy. People like it. Yeah, People come like on, it. you got to hit us. Well, I, well it's kind of easy, because I can take something that uh, is not important and make it sound important. Like, for instance, uh, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Uh, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are a part of an essential breakfast. And as you can see, Tony is very active with children. He, he does athletics. I mean, he can, he can, he can uh, snowboard, he can ski, he can, he can actually ride a bike. And when you're talking about ac activity for children, you're talking about physical activities that make children positive. And that's what America needs, you know, to be positive. So you got the tiger, you got the bandana, that's fashionable. And on top of that, uh, uh, Kellogg Frosted Flakes are great. <laughs> you know, that's really funny because, <laughs> no, because you did such a good Obama that I, like, he was so dynamic as a candidate. Uh -huh. And then as a president, he can take any s topic and make it both serious right. and boring right. at the same time. Right. I'm like, dude, it's great! Don't give right. me you know, that stuff. He's just like the ultimate freestyler. That's all I say. <laughs> so, uh, are you in, uh, you, can I ask about your politics, or are you gonna vote for President Obama? Yeah, I'm gonna vote for Obama. I'm, I'm more, I'm, you know, I'm a pro-people person, and I see that that's the party. That's that, very controversial. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people are anti-people, but I see that you're being, you know, you're going for the pro-people stance. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I live in a country where there's all types of people from all different walks of life that want the same things. You know, they want their children educated, they want to have enough to eat, they want to be housed, they want health insurance, they want all the things that I feel like he's bringing to us. The thing I liked about FDR, mm -hmm. you know, a lot, was that he was going to change the Bill of Rights, that everybody gets the right to have those things anyway. Yeah. And he wasn't able to do that you know, before his death. And I think that came out of his whole experience with World War II and seeing all these people die and seeing how things were, and a lot to do with his wife. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm just yeah, pro-people. If we can get a little bit more FDR out of President Obama, that would be terrific. Oh, yeah. So from your mouth to God's ears. There you go. All right, Tommy, thanks for joining us. Thanks we for really, having really appreciate it. All right. All right now we'll